be there at 7 p.m. Thank you. Bye. I have an audition today. Today. My agent got me an audition for a new film. It's about a West Coast girl. So, who better to play the part than me? I just need new headshots. I've played Seattle, Minnesota, San Francisco, Tokyo, Chicago, LA, you name it. Sometimes I feel like a part of the character stays in me because you really have to place yourself in the role you're playing. Use specific personality traits, behaviors, impulses to really connect with the character. And then it's just hard to tell which part is them and which part is you. As crazy as it might sound, sometimes I think that the closer the character is to my real life experience, the harder it is to betray them. It's like asking you to act like yourself. It's just weird. That's why we're interviewing my family, to understand more about my story. Who is Vancouver? Come on. You've been in there for like 30 minutes. Fuck off. I really need to pee. Fuck off. Very multicultural, artistic. Uh, uh, can you please turn off your phone sorry, for what's the interview? That? <laughs> your phone? Um, so what was I saying? Uh, sorry, my bad. saying she's very multicultural. Very multicultural. Artistic, cinematic. I mean, there's even a film festival named after me. You know, some people say that I'm like New York, but the truth is New York is like USA's Toronto. Mm -hmm. um, What's that? This is about Vancouver. Oh, right. Well, she's also trying to put herself out there, you know? I mean, as an actor, not about living in another place. I mean, she can't afford that. Housing in Vancouver is so expensive. But, yeah, you know, she's doing her artistic stuff. She gets that from me, actually. She's always loved nature, always surrounded by the water and mountains. I remember she did a project back in school to help the environment. They called it Greenpeace. What else? She's good at sports. Go, Nux, go! <laughs> and a good friend. Inclusive. Always meeting people from around the world, fighting their causes, wow. learning their Hi. languages. Mmm, smells like poutine. Poutine. Vancouver is known for her food. Ben, ouais, she's the daughter of a chef. 
She never learned to speak French proper, but neither did you, Toronto. Where was I? Ah, yes, la cuisine. It is in her vein. She cooks international dishes, but keeping her own essence by using local ingredients. BC sushi roll, japa dog, ramen noodle, salmon candy, this. What are you looking at, motherfucker? Fucking assholes, they don't respect anyone. Hey, I'm talking to you. This is not your street. Fuck off. Fuck you. I'm sorry, it's a kind of Tourette she get every now and then. We call it the East Easting mood. It's okay. Just don't engage her. Fuck you. Fuck you. No. <laughs> fuck you. Get the fuck out. This is not your street. Hey, I'm talking to you. Don't turn away. Don't turn. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. She has a bit of everything, and you can see that in her style. Fresh. Natural. Urban and relaxed, but at the same time, stylish. Kind of hip and cool. <laughs> I guess she kind of gets that from me. Cosmopolitan. Exotic. I think she's unique. I'm ready for my headshots. Did she forget her rain jacket again? <laughs>